Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and I've got a Blu-ray and music CD update, uh, something a little bit different on the music side of things because I do not normally pick up a lot of CDs but the past week and a bit has been kind of different, uh, I've been wanting to add a few new things into my music library and I've delved into a new genre which I've never really given a chance or really been all that overly interested in before and that is heavy metal and hard rock but absolutely loving everything I've listened to and picked up so far. So we're going to start with the CDs first and then move on to the Blu-rays for the end of the video. Alright and to kick things off with the music, first up we have the Essential Ozzy Osbourne which is a three disc set. Um, not too familiar with Ozzy Osbourne music but so far I'm really enjoying what I've heard, so looking forward to uh, finishing off the remainder of the CDs in this album. I've only got through the first disc so far. Next was a friggin awesome album and that is Alice Cooper Constrictor. I basically picked this one up for two songs, Teenage Frankenstein and He's Back the Man Behind the Mask. Love both of those songs but I found that I really really enjoyed all the songs on this CD. So, I definitely will be looking into some other Alice Cooper. Uh, next we have some Guns N' Roses and I haven't listened to Guns N' Roses since a kid so it was great revisiting this band again. Uh, classic band of course and I picked up a couple of their CDs, Appetite for Destruction and Greatest Hits. A lot of fantastic tracks on both, uh, November Rain, Welcome to the Jungle, Paradise City, um, just really really enjoyed both CDs. So. I think I will be picking up some more Guns N' Roses very, very soon. Now moving on to an absolutely classic band that I cannot believe that I never really listened to up until uh, about a week ago, and that is Black Sabbath, um, probably one that most of you are well familiar with. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to my type of metal. I really prefer the classic stuff and uh, yeah, absolutely loving Black Sabbath. Um, and I definitely will be adding more Black Sabbath into the collection. So picked up a couple of CDs so far. I've only listened to one of them, which is The Greatest Hits. And what an absolutely fantastic album. My favourite song from them so far, kind of cliche I guess, is Paranoid. Absolutely fantastic song. Uh, the next CD is The Dire Years, which from what I believe is um, a lot of the stuff from the 80s when Dire was involved with the group. So... Uh, definitely looking forward to giving that one a listen, but yeah, Black Sabbath, love it. And the last CD, well it's actually a box set with five albums in it, and that is King Diamond. Wow, this guy is frigging amazing. Austin, Spooky Rotten Fun, thank you so much for um, letting me know, or letting everyone know about King Diamond. Um, in one of your videos you mentioned you picked up the album them. Um, I was curious, I checked out some of his music and awesome awesome stuff. Um, if you are a metal fan and you want something with an awesome horror theme to it, I highly recommend King Diamond. This guy is incredible, a lot of his songs are like listening to a horror story. I've listened to three tracks so far, or sorry, three albums so far. Um, by the way, uh, the albums included in this set are Fatal, Portrait, Abigail, Them, which you showed Austin, Conspiracy, and The Eye. Uh, so far I've listened to Fatal Portrait, which is probably my favourite album so far, um, Abigail and Them. Um, this is a great set, all the um, albums come in separate little slip packages with some excellent artwork. But yeah, King Diamond, if this sounds interesting to you guys, definitely check him out awesome awesome stuff and I definitely will be looking into picking up a lot more of his albums. 
All right, and moving on to the Blu-rays, I uh, got lucky on eBay and snagged up a couple more Arrow Blu-ray limited uh, slip box releases. Uh, so I was very, very happy with that. I got them both for a really good price and they were brand new and still sealed. Uh, so the first one is the Exterminator. I've been wanting this particular release for probably close to a couple of years now and I'm glad to finally own it. I haven't seen the film before, but definitely am looking forward to checking it out. I'm a big fan of these sort of vigilante films, and this one looks really, really good. So, um, yeah, definitely glad to finally own it and cannot wait to check it out. Great release. Uh, most of you know what these Arrow releases are all about. But this one comes with a booklet, four reversible um, covers, and a poster. So... Yeah, that's the limited edition slipbox release of the Exterminator. And last, but certainly not least for this update, is the uh, slipbox Blu-ray of City of the Living Dead. Now, I've just had a newfound appreciation for this movie, and a couple of years ago I used to own this Blu-ray, and when I first watched the movie a couple of years back, I really wasn't a fan of it, so at one point I traded... Um, this Blu-ray out of my collection, but boy am I glad to have it in the collection again. Um, upon re-watching the movie, giving it another go, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I love the movie. Fantastic gore, really creepy and atmospheric zombie movie, and probably my favourite movie by Fulci so far. And this is a great release. Um, not only does it come with the four reversible covers, the poster booklet, um, a great selection of special features but it also comes with some postcards as well which is a really really nice uh, little extra over some of the other Arrow releases but yeah glad to own this particular edition of this excellent movie back into my collection again so that is City of the Living Dead alright guys so that does it for another update uh, definitely let me know what you think of the uh, music the CDs I picked up and the two Blu-rays I picked up. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks a lot for watching.